Poopies. Hey there guys, Pookie Izzy7 here, and you know for some reason, I don't know why, but I haven't had a good night in trying to record <laughs> this feature. So what I wanted to show you, this will be kind of weird and kind of strange because you will see part of my desktop for this feature. So mind you, if it looks weird, don't come up to me and say, well, well how come it doesn't look weird? Anyway. What I'm about to show you for this feature has never been released. And it's only been released to Europe. This game was done in 1992. And what is this game called? Well, it's not this black screen, but it's something that I think we know. Oh, I still paused it. Huh. Oops. <laughs> Just hang in there with me, folks. Hang in there. This game is called Sun Man. Released in 1992 by Sunsoft and lights by Nintendo. And out of all the games that Sunsoft has released, this one has been possibly the one that never, never got a U.S. release. It's a full game. But it never got a release. Observe what I'm going to show you what we got here in the States. This is what we got in the States, ladies and gentlemen. You see it for your eyes. Believe it or not, this is what we this is what we have in the States. Superman done by Kimco four years prior to Sunman. Yes, this is a retrospect of things. Okay, now we've seen Sunman and we've seen Superman done by Kemco. However, we have yet to see. We have yet to see the other game that was released by Sunsoft in the same year. Which does this, which does the series justice. Now what I'm about to show you is what we got in the same year that Sun Man came out. That game is... Superman. Note, the original theme is not in there, done by John Williams. There was also a game, there was also the arcade game that was done by Taito. But like I said, I, this is what I plan to do. I will do Superman for comic book month in June. So therefore, don't ask me why did I play Superman, in which it does it does not make sense. Now look, this is Superman. I think the demo speaks for itself. The demo speaks for itself, folks. That was Superman 40's Sega Genesis, right? 1992 Sunsoft, remember that. This is Sunman, done in 1992, also by Sunsoft. Mm -hmm. 
Now, Sunsoft had the same problem with Journey to Celius because, if you remember correctly, Journey to Celius, aka Wrath World, was supposed to be the Terminator had Sunsoft gained the rights to it, right? This was to be Superman had Sunsoft gained the rights to Superman back then. And yes, you can fly here. You can fly here. I'm only giving you just a sample of Sun Man. Now note when he stands still, look. That's how he looks when he stands still. Then take a look at the Sunsoft version of Superman. See, that is how you make an entrance. Now note. That's how he stands, right? He stands just like Sun Man. Huh. Interesting and oddly enough, right? He stands just like Sun Man, and we're gonna have and we're gonna do a little we're gonna do a little action with with this character here. So let's go beat some bad guys. Even though I'm taking a couple of hits, this is just like a sample of what is considered to be the retrospect of a game in which got overlooked, but yet, later down the line, this is what we got for Sega Genesis. Anyway. Yeah, that's, that's the, that's the game over screen. Pose for the people, please. Note, that is Superman for the Sega Genesis. I'm about to show you. It would kind of be a little bit trippy, but um, it's going to be very interesting. Watch very carefully. Note. Look at how the two are standing the same way. The same pose. Now even though even though they are two different games they are but the same person. Even though this even though Sun Man looks more like Shazam than Superman, the pose is still the same. Oh yeah, did I somehow forget somebody? Wow. Let's take another look at um, Kemco's craptastic version of a American favorite. <sighs> this is what we got, folks. This is exactly what we got here in the States, done by Kemco four years back. You want to know what's the bad thing about this? Let's say you were in this room. 
This is fucked up beyond belief, man. You are not Perry White, sir. You are definitely not Perry White. Now, look at this. Explain to me this! Yes, this sad sack of shit is really Superman. This is Kemco's idea of what Superman is. And yes, he has the super dr the the super drill. Yeah. Yeah, explain to me how how do you explain that? I'm Superman and I'm doing this. He can leap over buildings in a single bound. Now I'm Clark Kent and he's leaping over buildings in a couple of bounds. How the fuck does that work? And I'm back as Superman because I can leap over buildings in a single bound, even though Clark Kent can do the same goddamn thing. And this is supposed to be a punch. This is supposed to be a punch, right? That is not a punch. That is more like a baby pimp slap. And, folks, the last time I remember Superman, he was invulnerable to bullets. Why is this happening? And since when did he need powers just to, just to basically beat up a bad guy? I mean, when did he really need to use his powers to do that. Same thing, you gotta change in the bathroom just to become Clark Kent the Superman. Yes, this is a sad day indeed. I think AVGN has... I believe AVGN did a review of Superman. And he did it well. He said every single thing that can ever be mentioned as what the fucktastic. Now, mind you, I'm using FCEU. Really, and you are what now? Explain to me, how does that work? How can you instantly be knocked out of Superman form? I mean, really, how the... This is stupid! When you're Clark Kent, you can't swing a punch. Or when you do, it takes you a while to become Superman. Yeah. Yeah, that was proving a point, folks. That's shoddy. Now observe. I'm going to go back to Sun Man. Yeah, you know what? We can say that this version of Superman has failed. <sighs> now, this is Sun Man. 
This is how a superhero is supposed to be. Even though he takes damage. He's still up in the air. We're still fighting. Because we are Su Sun Man. The other Superman. Oh yeah, he definitely has a heat vision down. Definitely has the heat vision down. Great! Sunderman! Yes, this is the first time I've actually ever gotten this far in Sunman, period. something I like to say this I, I, I would prefer this over the Chemco version of what is considered the second greatest superhero in the world if not the first now I've shown you Sun Man right take a look at this This is Superman, done in the same year. And he's fighting off Brainiac's um, horde of evil robots and sentries. But you know what? I think I have said enough. Really, I have said enough. Because, really, this is what it's all about, folks. You have Sun Man and Superman. The same, very same superhero, even though drawn differently. And yet, even though he was named differently, it was still Superman. So with that, yeah, you know what, I'm just going to leave it there, because really, if it'll show up like, great, Sun Man, <laughs> stage clear, yeah, that's what, that's what I wanted to end up as, but anyway, I'm just a wishful thinker, <laughs> but anyway, um, In this case, before I end this on a pleasant note, I think it's only best that we end this game on a good term. Let me 
show you. Yes, folks, I prefer to end this video on a good note in which we can all say awesome. So, this has been the retrospect of Sun Man and the lost hero that became the Man of Steel in the Sega version, Superman. So with that, I have been the underdog of the underrated Pookie 87. And this has been a, the retrospective, a look at Sun Man. And for that, I wish you a good night, a good day, and a good life in 2011. And hopefully by today I will finish Journey to Cilius if I haven't mentioned that. Journey to Cilius and Ramp World because I'm doing two in one. So I hope you I hope you stick around for that. Whenever I plan to do it. And I will see you next time on URG. Because no game is ever left forgotten. I am the underdog. This has been Sun Man and Superman. Take care, folks. And I'm out.